Hey there, race fans, Mike here, and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 4 Quick Race Series. We are bringing the Xfinity cars to Atlanta Motor Speedway for the running of the Renai Tankless Water Heaters 250. So, Atlanta is actually one of my favorite tracks. She's an old bird, but she's still got a little bit of bite to her. She's actually one of the more uh, driver skill oriented tracks on the circuit, which is why it's one of my favorites. Um, so, what kind of challenge is that going to bring to us with our new Thrustmaster T150 wheel and pedal setup? Are we going to wreck it or are we going to win it? We'll just have to wait and see. As the NASCAR Heat Countdown to Green continues as we are getting set to go racing. Ladies and gentlemen, the field has been set. Christopher Bell posted some fast laps to practice. Team should have a good race. Ray Black Jr. did not have a good practice session. And Austin Hill had to give up qualified position for some new tires. That was going to place us in the 37th starting position. So what's going to happen when the green flag drops in this new series, new game? Bring the noise. We're racing in Atlanta. About to make it three wide on the start here, going into turn number one. Trying to be a little bit cautious here, we slide up. Sucking a little bit of draft off of Timmy Hill there. Working our way inside of Joey Gase. Ooh, boy, a little tight going in there, overdrove that slightly. Oh, boy. We get a little bit of draft off Sattler, work your way to the inside of the 10. Inside of Mills, three wide. Oh boy, hit that apron and there we go, up the racetrack. Got to be a little bit careful. Oh, got a little somebody on our left rear. We managed to save it, we don't wreck it. And we overdrive turn three just a little bit there, that's going to cost us just a little bit. Oh man, we just can't keep it off this apron. Something I'm pretty happy about is the fact that these cars handle so much differently. Oh boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, easy. Don't wreck them. Don't wreck them. But yeah, I'm very appreciative of the fact that these cars handle so much differently. I wouldn't say so much differently. They they don't handle like the cup cars, but they do handle differently. It was something I was realizing in practice, because I did do a, a some cup practice here just to see what the difference would be. And there's a there's a pretty significant difference. These cars do handle differently. And it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. They actually seem a little bit faster. But it's really hard to explain how they just feel different. But I guess if you had your hands on the game, you'd be able to really tell. Oh, caught the wall a little bit there. A little loose going in. We can gather it back up. Yeah, those right sides are starting to wear quite a bit. That's, that's typical for Atlanta. That is typical for Atlanta. We have not run that many laps <laughs> and we're already having to back it down and really take it easy. Kind of kind of stalling out here around the, the top 20. Got away, pulled away from the guys behind us. Now we got to work on trying to catch these guys ahead of us. Now I'm not fully familiar with a lot of the people in Xfinity. 
So, if you don't hear me say their names, because I don't know their name. <laughs> but I'm, I'm familiar with quite a few of them, just, you know, just because, you know, NASCAR Heat 3 and uh, watching other people uh, play this game and stuff. So, I'm familiar with a few people, but not everyone in the field. And eventually, I'll get better with that, you know, because, you know, i got to commentate these races and everything. Now, you might notice I'm not yelling. And I'm not yelling because I'm doing post commentary. <laughs> so it's a little bit, so I, I'm a little bit calmer now. I'm not blowing out my voice. And I'm also not, probably not disturbing my neighbors. Because I realized how loud I was last night when I was recording this. Uh, on the, when the game was released, I realized how loud I was. And I was actually like, oh man. <laughs> I'm going to have a complaint here shortly, and I don't want to do that because I'm going to be moving into a, another apartment. Okay, we're working our way inside of Greg Galding. Catching up to good old Kaz Garala. Oh, Galding's putting up a fight on the outside. Oh, don't touch the apron. Clipped it just a little bit. Clear Greg Galding. Working our way to the inside of Kaz Garala. Should be able to pass him. Uh, not quite, not quite. Got a little bit of tight, had to let out of the throttle there. Looks like Kaz Grala had a little bit of a problem. I'll be able to get alongside of him. Catching up to the Lombard Bros Gaming. Brian Zieg. In the, is it the 39? It's the 39. Yes, it is. Hello and goodbye. 12 laps to go. Now I've changed some of the settings here. Uh, oh, Ryan Seek's coming right on back. Oh, he gave us a tap in our left rear that sent us up the racetrack. <laughs> so as I was saying, I have changed some of the settings. We are now running three times tire wear and fuel use. And I have bumped the sensitive the uh the driving aids down one not so like I barely have any driving aids basically like most of them are on zero and some are on 15 uh, it's the hard setting if you're actually going into the the gameplay and the gameplay settings and if you're dealing with the uh, driving aids you set it to hard it sets some of them to 15 sets some of them to zero and the reason I did that is because I really wanted to feel this car get loose I wanted to feel this car you know, become a, hand, a handful, just like that. <laughs> Got a little bit of loose off of four that time. Ten laps to go. We're in the top 15, running 14th currently. After getting around Ryan, uh, Ryan C again. Now you see our tires here, our right rear is really starting to wear down on us. It's getting pretty hot too, running 198 degrees. The right front's wearing pretty, pretty significantly too. Six laps remaining on the fuel. Nine laps to go. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about the uh, the tire wear and fuel use. I'm under 13%. I was kind of thinking I may have to pit twice, but I guess I'm pitting a little bit sooner in the run than I would be. And like I said, the tires wear a lot quicker. But so do the AI. You hear me off the throttle. Just kind of really laying off the throttle. Pit stops happening already. Eight laps to go. And I'm just going to try to stretch it as far as I can. Catch it up to Austin Cindric here. I said my goal here is to really just to learn. Oh, we got a caution. Caution has come out. Everybody's pitting. Who hasn't pit already? It's going to put us at a slight disadvantage, but we're just going to go ahead and take four tires and fuel. No changes. No adjustments. We're going to keep it as is. Uh, but if you're wondering about this setup, I've actually just got it one tick away from tight. And that seems to seem to have helped out a lot. See, I'm delaying a little bit here because I'm actually stretching my hands and wrists and stuff. We're getting ready to go green here. We lost 17 spots, but that's okay. We can get it right back as we come back to the line. Green flags back in the air. Four laps remaining. 
Staying in the draft of Nemechek. Trying to catch up to Annette the Threat. Annette the Threat's going to come down just a little bit. I'm going to run the bottom of the racetrack. Inside of Harmon. Ooh, boy. Inside of Briscoe. I thought about going three wide in the middle. I think better of it. Come down. Work our way inside of Nemechek. Got somebody following us through. Just kind of... Just kind of really hanging on our bumper there. Ooh. Boy had to come down to block that. Had to block that run inside of Clements. Okay, gained 10 spots already, but some of these guys are on slightly older tires. We have a we do have an advantage. You see, they're they're really stacked up here. We get inside of Cedric. Two laps to go. And I've adjusted the, uh, the difficulty. Oh, gosh. Wow. Wow, I got loose there. Oh, Sindrick's inside. He lets us go. Thank you, Sindrick. Maybe you're not all as bad. Maybe you're not as bad as people make you out to be, at least not in the game. Trying to stay in the draft of Noah Gregson. We're all around. White flag in the air, one more lap to go. Trying to decide which line I want to go with here. Inside of Tyler Reddick. Inside of Noah Gregson, three wide. Oh boy, come on. Trying to stay in the draft to BJ McLeod. Can we get to his inside? We do get to his inside. We're three wide into the quad oval. For fifth place, we will come home fifth. Awesome sauce. Christopher Bell. He's going to take home the fastest lap of the race. And I also think he led the most laps of the race, leading 16 laps. Cesar Baccarelia has started 15th, finished first. He is the race winner. How about that? <laughs> that is a back to front. And Justin Haley... With the, uh, the heartbreak of the race, he finishes 37th. So all in all, guys, it's not a terrible run. <laughs> you know, uh, you got to be happy with the fifth place finish um, after all of that. And I was driving real aggressively at the end there. Um, I really didn't care about the tie wear or anything. I'm just like, hey, man, we got four laps to go. I'm just going to use up what I... I'm gonna, there, there's no sense of saving your stuff. Just go ahead and go. <laughs> Uh, but we had some guys up there on older tires and that was stacking up the field That allowed me to get up there, but I guess I Guess I gotta run 105. I think that's the I think that's the the only way I'm gonna get this game to be any harder than it actually because it doesn't seem like there's a big difference between 95 and 100 um, I shudder to think what 87 felt would have felt like if I'd have left it on the normal setting but in the last race, I bumped it up to 95 because I was like, oh, 87 is probably going to be too easy. Let me see what 95 is going to do. 95 wound up being too easy. 95 and 100 just kind of feel the same. Um, and, well, that also may be uh, due to the fact that since I didn't have the driving aids on or on as high as I did, I was able to get more speed out of the car because maybe, maybe the driving aids were holding me back. I'm not entirely sure. Um... But yeah, it looks like I may have to bump it up to 105. I'm not going to try that just yet because the next race I'm going to do is the trucks. And I'm not sure how the trucks are going to handle. I said the Xfinity cars do handle differently than the cup cars. I can't, like I said, I can't explain it. Like the cup cars, they're easier to drive. I don't know. I, that, that's the best way I can explain it is the cup cars are easier to drive um, and like I said I did a cup race on this I just did a, some cup practice on this track in a, and it felt way different than the Xfinity uh, practice so I'm like it, it just felt the cup car felt easier uh, the Xfinity car felt much more difficult um, and I guess that you know like I said that's a testament to you know the uh, what the the hard work that 704 put into this and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say this it's a big testament to your input 
you know the guys you guys out there that that offered your criticism your your voice uh, this is probably the biggest fan made game that I have ever seen. Now, granted, like the fans weren't out there developing. 704 was doing all the the, the real, you know, you know, they they had their shoes in the mud and everything. You know, they were digging in the dirt trying to get this out to us. But we never would have gotten here. We we never would have gotten here if it wasn't for, like I said, people out there critiquing the the past three games and um, offer, like I said, offering advice, offering input, and. We got something. We got something special here. Uh, I'm not willing to say it, it's you know what I want to say about it just yet. You know, having played it for a couple, I've only played it for a couple days. I haven't delved into the career mode. I don't know what kind of glitches are going to show up. I've heard some people mention that there is a sound glitch, which I haven't heard it. But then again, I haven't been listening for it because uh, you know I'm talking, you know, focusing on driving. At least I haven't come across it yet. Um, one thing I am a little bit disappointed is I can only get 30 frames per second out of the PS4, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it still looks really good. It still sounds really good. It's very loud. <laughs> it's very loud. Even now here, as I'm doing post commentary, I'm still I'm steadily having to turn the game volume down because I feel like I'm yelling all the time. But I think I got it at a good steady volume here. Um, also, uh, the Xfinity car sound different. They sound different than the cup cars. Um, I don't know what the trucks sound like yet. I, uh, I, mean, I kind of do, but not really. Um, but I will figure out what they sound like here shortly because that's going to be the very next race that I embark in. But uh, but yeah, um, like I said, this this is shaping up to be something special. I'm not going to say what I want to say about it just yet because I'm a whole. I'm going to res. I am going to reserve what I want to say about this game until, you know, I've played it for a good solid month. And then I'll probably go ahead and say, because I don't want to say this might be one of the best games that we've got. I don't want to say that because I haven't dug into it as deep as, as a lot of people have probably already done so. Um, but yeah, I, I like the driving model. I like the, the contact model so far. Um, I like I, I like how the tires fall off and I like how much you know wheel input that you gotta give it you know you, you can't just I mean you can't just throw it off in the corner and expect to make it you just can't do that um, I tried that a couple times it didn't work <laughs> um, um, and it's, it's just it's all around good it's all around good but it, it's shaping up to be it's shaping up to be something special and I'm glad to be taking part in this game. So, and I'm learning a lot with my with my racing wheel. Um, and I'm getting better. I think I'm getting better. Um, I was le I was less all over the track in practice with the with the Xfinity car. I was less all over the track in the race than I was in practice. I was all over the track. I was in the grass <laughs> in uh, in practice. So, um, I am learning. I am learning. I think that's just the natural me playing so many of these games so much. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay so far. I am enjoying it. Um, if you are, be sure to subscribe. Uh, and because I'm going to be doing this for quite some time. And, you know, like I said, career mode is going to be coming soon. And I'll be doing trucks. And I will pick the track here shortly. I'm, but I am going to be doing trucks. I'm thinking about Chicagoland because that's a little bit of a challenging track for me. I like Chicago. I'm good at Chicago, but it's still a challenge for me and it's not having not having felt how the trucks are going to drive in this particular game. I'm I'm pretty nervous and excited at the same time. So, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Glam Racing on me Glam Entertainment. We try to bring a little bit of enjoyment to your day every day like i said subscribe if you want to see more of these videos you know smash the like button leave your comments down below what do you think of the game if you're playing it so far and like i said thank you guys so much for watching and at, and at whatever time you are watching this good morning good afternoon good night and i will see you in the next video